Jonte Porter. Yes. The younger brother of Michael Porter Jr. Got it. Being investigated right now for questionable moments that have may impacted betting. There were two games in particular. Woj has reported this. This is all being reported in which he went in and his he was supposed to have like six points, three rebounds, one assist, played for a minute or two. The first time came out with an, an eye injury. A real eye injury? He said it was an eye injury. Did not play the rest of the game. Second game, oh. played for a few minutes. Let me finish. Then comes out with an undisclosed illness, doesn't finish the game. The way sports betting works, as soon as you check into the game, it's an official game. When you come out of the game, because he didn't get six points, five rebounds, three assists, all of those unders hit because he didn't because he, he came out. What? The reason that they were alerted to this was on those two days, whatever sports book took in hundreds of thousands of dollars in bets on his unders, they ended up being the most profitable bet of the day. And why a Jonte Porter under is your number one bet when people are betting on Luka and Jokic and Stephen Curry, it alerted them to what the heck is going on here. And so now he is being investigated to see if there's any involvement in how this could have happened. Because it's not just that he did it, who was he telling that he was going to do it so that they could bet a large amount of money on it? That's where the web starts being exposed. So could it be- That is what's going on here. So could it be coincidental? I don't know. I, I per, as someone that bets, like I've never even thought about betting on John Tate Porter. You know what I mean? Like it, it, I don't want to say it okay, could so be that's, coincidental, but it's really shady. Okay. So Shane and Kenny could bet Shaq's going to do the whole show tonight, but then I could tell slice, you know, when I run to the board tonight, I'm going to run to the board and twist my knee and have to sit out right? and slice a bet on that and win. And I'll be in trouble. Yeah, because remember the question you asked before? That is literally the definition of insider trading. Oh, got it. Okay. So first question, when you hear this, how does that make you feel as a competitor, as an athlete? I, it doesn't. I don't. First of all, I've never even heard of the guy. He's making a bet. He's Michael Porter Jr.'s younger yeah. brother. He's on a league minimum like $450,000 a year. Plus the uh, plus the two hundred he just got, so that's uh, six hundred thousand. Oh, you're including the betting winnings? Yeah. <laughs> but right. ha right. has there ever been a point where you've played with the others where you're like, man, they they actually really need money, and like if someone were to come along and offer something like this, you could see it. No, right, no. Because it seems like it's getting into the fabric of sports right now, and I really do get concerned about cheating and stuff like that. True story. We're somewhere. And we're sitting at a bar and the guy comes. And the guy's polite. He says, Shaq, you, you probably don't want to sit here. I say, why? He says, I'm one of the biggest bookies in the world and people know me and I don't want you next. I said, oh, cool, but you ain't got to worry about me. So we start talking. And we said, hey, you, you get players? He said, no, nah, you guys make too much money. I get referees. That's what he says. And then a couple of years after that, the whole thing broke. Mm, yeah. Tim Donaghy yeah. and the refs game. He said that. I have talked with coaches that have told me that they thought a ref was refing a game weird. And then they went after the game and looked at the spread and realized like, oh, wow, like a few of those loose ball fouls, the ones where it's like you and another guy running and you both collide at the same time and who they call the foul on, I used that to. kind of stuff. Whenever I felt like the game wouldn't be in Colorado, I always used to go to the ref and be like, the spread is six. <laughs> All the time. The spread is six. Did you, was that the actual spread or did you just make it? No, I, no, I just, just always tell them, like, I know exactly what you're doing. The spread is six. And then I always used to tell them, I said, don't matter, man. I'm making 40 million this year. Do it. You got to do it again. Like, if you want the people that pay to watch you say it, don't really matter to me. Doesn't like, that like, make you sad? Did it, it make does. you annoyed as a player? It does. Because my thing is, they say we're going to hack a shack in the paper. Oh, we're just going to file them. Okay, now when they file me, just call it. I'd rather embarrass myself by not making free throws than let you. Just hit do, me. Yeah, let them hit me. It's okay, you're going to hit me. So as soon as I do this move, oh, now I'm on the bench. Now I got to come in, play cautious, and really try to, a team that we're supposed to be beating by 30, 
you want to make it close. And it's just, yeah, but I always just tell them, spread the six all the time. If you were a teammate of a guy and this story came out, would how would you feel about your teammate if it ended up being true? I'd, I'd have to I'd, I'd have to punch him in his face and be like, first of all, so why? we're gonna go right past having a conversation. Oh yeah, it ain't gonna be no conversation. I'm gonna go, one why you just messed up your money, you messed up your family's money, and now you got them people looking at us. Because you're right. Then they're gonna look at the rest of the team, and be like, I'm who else? Is? Yeah, yeah. And then you might get one dummy and be like, Shaq hit 10 out of 12 the first night. Why the second night he go 2 out of 30? And, duh, here, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, and here's a get, picture of him yeah, and this yeah, player exactly, hanging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah all, all that's like. That's so if you were we Commissioner need. Shaq, what's the punishment? For this guy, he would have to give his, his whole salary back. And you got 30 days. 30 games? No. So let's just say. Oh, you have 30 days to pay yeah, it. So you get 30 days to pay that 450 that you're making. Is he allowed to play ever again? Hold on. You got 450 to pay the league back. Plus, whatever the person made, 250 that you got to pay me 650. You got 30. You don't get that done. You're banned from all leagues. NBA, Europe, you can't ever play again. Banned from basketball. All leagues. You can't even go to elite overtime. Done. Shout out to Overtime yeah. Elite. <laughs> overtime Elite. Whatever. So the story of the Japanese pitcher, yes. Shohei Otani, a.k.a. the modern-day Babe Ruth, is he has a translator. And the translator apparently owed a bookie in a legal, because you can't bet legally in California, $4.5 million. Yes. Originally, the story came out that... Uh, he was down this amount of money, and then Shohei Otani paid off the tab for him. Like, I'll take care of it. Then they changed their story, and then suddenly the interpreter was stealing money from Shohei Otani, from his accounts. Because you have to think about it. You have a Japanese man in America, the interpreter dealing with the banks, all of that stuff. There's so many questions. There are so many theories as to, like, what if... What if the player himself was the one making the bets and this guy's taking the fall? Uh, these are all like theories. Yeah. You, you get $700 million contract and you're still betting? That's the thing is, right now the story is the interpreter is the one that has the gambling problem. The interpreter is the one and that they're saying that the player didn't know anything about it. The interpreter saying, I never bet on baseball. But this is where we are with sports betting. And it's getting murkier and murkier. So is his contract about to be? The the MLB is investigating. So they, what if they find out he was betting on game? He's done? Think about Pete Rose. Pete Rose has been banned from baseball for betting on sports. So that was your only experience in your life with someone even mentioning betting around you. Yeah. Okay. Feel like we've covered the topic well enough? I, I guess. I just, you know, like. Yeah, are like, there more questions? No. So the Toronto dude may be in trouble. Oh, I would I would say he seems to be really in trouble. So does it seem like he's involved? I mean, uh, did, did, allegedly, did this, yes. No, uh, it seems like he pulled himself out of the game for right, a so, mysterious eye illness and a mysterious so illness. So there's coincidence and there's involved. Give me your 70-30. This is just like Adam yeah. making a guess. Yes. Allegedly. Yeah. I'm not saying that he did this. I would say 85% involved. And 15% coincidence. Because I've never thought about how you could throw it. Because I'm like, you're going to look crazy if you're missing shots on purpose. Right. Or like if the ball comes down and you don't pick up the rebound. You know what I mean? Or like, right. But taking yourself out because you're sick, I was like, that's genius. Like that makes sense. <laughs> like that way, like you hit all the unders, but you don't look crazy. Right. In fact, everyone's like, you good? Like everyone's checking on you. Right. So that one was the, it, it hit me, but I would never do that. Me either.